What's up, super friends, and welcome to today's DC Direct Bizarro Action Figure Review. This one didn't come in the package, so I don't have one to show you. I picked it up off of eBay for like 14 bucks, and it only came in a bubble bag. So we can skip that part and just get to having a closer look at the figure. Off the bat, I can say that this is my absolute favorite Bizarro action figure of all time because I love the color scheme, the look, and the build of this figure. The body for this figure is the exact same mold as the original 21 points of articulation DC Direct Superman figure, so it's exactly the same. The only difference is the head sculpt. Bizarro's head is completely different. Coming in closer to appreciate the sculpting work of the head here, I really, really like what they've done with the head, and it's, it's clearly based off of the head sculpt of the DC Direct Superman. You can see when you look at them sideways, this one's clearly based off of this one. It's all in the eyes, mate. It's all in the eyes. Aside from that, the color scheme of this figure is, as far as I'm concerned, right on for Bizarro. It's two different shades of purple. There's no blue involved and no red involved, and I've always preferred that look for Bizarro compared to the different shades of blue. Also, I want to point out that the cape itself has the logo on the back, except for the logo is backwards. So they must have remolded a new cape based off of the original one. The articulation for Mr. Bizarro number one is as follows, and I warn you, I'm going to be a little bit ginger on it because once you loosen some of these joints, like the wrist joint, they never get tight again. It's forever, 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 forever. The shoulders are on a ball joint, and they do a little bit of ball jointy type stuff, but not that much. The shoulders are on a swivel, so he can show you his muscles. The elbows are on a single hinge, and they have about that much articulation. The wrists are on a swivel and a hinge, and I'm not touching him. I'm just going to leave him just like that. Otherwise, he's going to end up limp-wristed for the rest of his time on the shelf. The waist swivels 360 degrees. Head is on a ball joint, and he can actually look up quite a bit. Shmi's Bizarro number one, go for a fly. The groin does have some articulation in the form the legs can move up a little bit, but not a whole lot. And the legs don't have a butt that gets in the way to speak of, so they can go all the way back. I'm not really sure why you'd want to do that, but they can if you so choose to. There's also some articulation right here, midway down the leg, in the form of a swivel. There's a knee joint, which I'm not even going to touch, because if you've ever owned a DC Direct Superman or Bizarro that looks like this, you know that the knee joints, as well as the ankle joints, are incredibly finicky. And once you loosen them, you can't stand the figure back up again without them falling down on their face and scratching the nose, and then you got to cry yourself to sleep at night because your figure is damaged. Wait, wait. Only me? Sorry, only me. Never mind. As you were. Here I have Bizarro posed in between two other Bizarro action figures. On the right, we have the DC Superheroes Bizarro action figure. And on the left, we have a DC Direct Bizarro action figure from the All-Star Superman 2-pack. And the reason why I think the one in the middle is the superior Bizarro figure of all Bizarro figures is... And that's even comparing to the ones that aren't pictured in this video. I just think he does the best job of looking like Bizarro. I mean, this one's cool and all, don't get me wrong, it just doesn't scream Bizarro to me. And this one, don't even get me started, I mean, he's not a Bizarro figure I've ever been particularly that impressed with, I just keep him around because he's, well, the DC Superhero slash DC Universe Classics version. I've got like three different versions of him too. I got the dark one, I got the light one, I got this one. At any rate, this is the Bizarro figure that's always impressed me the most, so uh, don't ask me why it took me so long to pick one up. I'm like 12 or 13 years late to the game for this one, but at least I got one, and now I'm sharing it with you, my super friends. Anyhow, folks, this video is over, so thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. I really appreciate you taking the time to do so. If you appreciate this video, please leave a like on it, leave any comments you have down in the comment section below, and if you think you'd like to see more of my kind of content show up in your inbox, well, just hit the subscribe button, ding the bell, and then you'll never miss a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.